So, okay, quick epilepsy warning before I review this level, because the level I'm about to talk about is probably the most bizarre and flashy level I have seen in a long time. And of course, we are talking about the newly released level, hosted by Angara River and Axels, named Tailstall. You do not want to know how many retakes I had of saying this level's name before I realized how to pronounce it. Jeez, this took me so long to say. Anyways, here's a quick explanation of what the level is before I review it. So, this level is a collab with a bunch of people, and I was surprised to find out that besides 2003 Devin, who was made the end credits for this level, or the end screen, um, none of these creators were actually that well known, or at least I did not know much about them. With the only one that was like somewhat popular and that I knew of was Classic 10, who made Tipo B and that one part in that one cherry team level. This level is also an extreme demon, and despite looking like an impossible level at the drop, this level is actually very doable, and I dug deep to find how hard this actually is, and from this reply from the verifier, this is around a top 150 level. Now, I know FNM04 just says top 150 in the description, but uh, I didn't know that, uh, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, that's the basic info on the level, so let's get into the actual review. So, first off, the reason I was surprised that I didn't know many of the creators in this project was because of how impressive these effects are. Purely talking about Deco, this level is so hard to put into a review because these effects are just so crazy. The level is constantly throwing glitch effects and inverted colors at you and dual waves and it's just, it really makes this level feel like an impossible level rather than an actual level. And even when the level is all over the place, something I found is that, yeah, the level is crazy, moving everywhere. There's so much moving objects and glitches. But the thing is, there's always in these sections a really memorable part that grabs your intent attention in each of the sections. Like this club step monster with the glowing eyes that follows you. And in this other crazy section, there's these eyes that explode out of your wave into like this circle. You would think these parts would just blend in with all the random crazy glitches and stuff that are happening in the level. But no, they are able to stand out and make each part memorable. And of course, I have to talk about Devin's end screen. Not only does this end screen just look so abstract and impressive, and shows how Devin still has his creating talent in 2.2, it's also crazy that it's able to tell a short story in literally just 3 or 4 seconds with it saying how a mother is messaging her child, wondering where they are, and then us finding out that this person has been unalived. This definitely shows proof that Devin, although making a lot of levels and parts that have been controversial in the past, is still undeniably one of the best creators we currently have, and it was definitely the right call to have him in this project, because this level just feels like it suits him so well. And the pre-drop of this level is also very funky and cool, but compared to the drop, there isn't much I have to say on this. I don't want this review to go on forever, but I will say they look fun and pretty cool. As for my final rating, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Originally, when seeing this for the first time, I was going to give the level a 7 out of 10, as I thought the decoration was going to make it impossible to see the gameplay at all. But as I kept re-watching re this level a lot, I was able to follow the wave pretty well, and so I think this might actually be pretty fun to play and learn and not too difficult to see to like see the actual gameplay. But this isn't a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 for me, just because 1, this level is pretty short, I mean it's less than 50 seconds long, and I also do think that the effects are a bit too much. Obviously, it matches the level's theme really well, and watching this as a showcase of the level was a 10 out of 10, but playing this level might be hard on a lot of people's eyes, so I did lower it to an 8 out of 10. Anyways, that's the end of my review. Uh, just to let you know, you can send me Extreme Demons to review on my Discord server, as this level was one of those requests, and it's also just a cool place to hang out, links in the description, and also... Um, go support our shadow. They're the verifier of this level, and I would want to see some support there and trying to get this level out. But anyways, yeah, if you enjoyed watching and want to keep up to date on these level reviews, consider subscribing, and peace.